Dear friends, good day. In the world of law, an insanity defense is the legal strategy by which, if successful, the author of a felonious act may not be held responsible by reason of temporary or permanent mental incapacitation. I surmise that if something similar existed in the world of music, Domenico would have made ample recourse to it. Let me explain. Domenico Scarlatti's Sonata in D major K122, which we will present in a moment, is a beautiful fandango. It begins with the exposition of the main theme, but already by the tenth bar Domenico does something extraordinary. He changes the meter from three to four and bashes away a fanfare mood. He makes quite a racket with it. Now that it's got our attention, he modulates into the minor mode and the fandango proper starts. So far, so good. Any piece of music is made up by a melody and an accompaniment. Now, in this little sonata, Domenico goes a little bit crazy with the accompaniment, because as soon as the music gets going, first the left hand, but also then the right hand, have to jump all over the keyboard continuously. And I'm talking about big skips, two, even three feet of keyboard that you have to cover continuously, like a grasshopper. Now, as a professional musician, I have absolutely no reason to complain if something is a little bit harder than usual. You just practice a little more. However, in pieces such as this, Domenico borders on the insanity. When you see the score of this music, it's disconcerting. All these jumps, left, right and center, they don't appear to make any sense. However, Domenico was a genius, and so, since they do make indeed, it's a beautiful sonata and it is a very great privilege for me to present it to you. Buon ascolto.